Okay, so right now I'm at a hotel in Ohio. The last thing I expected to find out in the middle of a bunch of cow pastures, Chipotle. Ah, oh, did I say that right? Chipotle? Chipotle? And now I'm at Cedarville University, which seems like a good place to introduce the question, which is, do we as human beings tend to attach greater importance to things we don't understand than we do to things we do understand? Now obviously I'm only one human being, which means I can only answer this question for myself. I would say that personally I do tend to attach importance, greater importance to things which I don't understand. In that I tend to think that if I don't understand something, I think it must be more meaningful than something which I understand easily. When someone says something, or like when I read poetry and I don't understand what is being said, I think automatically that what is being said must be very important because I don't understand it. And I kind of wonder why I do that. Now we're pulling out of a Starbucks in Indiana. I remember thinking when Thursday posted his 22nd, April 22nd video that I didn't understand a word of what he was saying. It was very short, but I didn't understand it. It sounded deep though, and so I was impressed that he made a video about it. And then after I got to talk to him about it and talk to Wednesday about it and get some context, it turned out that it was pretty important and, and pretty meaningful. But other than the fact that I didn't understand it at all, I really didn't have any basis for believing that it was meaningful before I understood it and had that conversation about it. So, but I did anyway. I think it may have been Pascal who said we always admire what we don't understand. Now I'm at a rest stop in Indiana and you can't see it behind me, but there's like a tiny windmill there. But further back down the road, there were like hundreds of windmills. I think part of the issue is that oftentimes things which are difficult to understand are more meaningful because they are difficult to understand. Meaningful things are often difficult to understand. The struggle to understand them is what makes them meaningful to me. And now I'm in a Panera Bread in, where are we? Chicago? Chicago, Illinois. And uh, yeah, the thing is that oftentimes I'm right when I assume that something is more meaningful because it's difficult to understand. And, and part of that is because the, the struggle that I have to understand something makes it more meaningful. Or, or when, like, the, the difficulty I have in understanding something is what makes it meaningful. Like, I, I remember something or I remember truth more because it was difficult to grasp. Now I'm at a filling station getting petrol. Maybe I've come to associate difficulty or, or complexity with meaningfulness simply because meaningful things take some time to understand or, or are difficult to understand. Like the truth, truth is simple, but truth, you have to wrap your mind about it. Meaningful things are usually related to a new belief system or, or are related to your belief system and you don't adopt new beliefs or you don't change your beliefs in any way or modify your beliefs easily. And so when you are grasping meaningful things, it's natural that you're going to have to struggle to understand or struggle to fit them into your worldview. Okay, for the final segment of this video, I'm now in a hotel in Wheaton, Illinois. The primary reason I think that I do this is because I'm often right to do it, or I'm often right when I make these assumptions. Either through trial and error, through previous experience, or just through this sense I have, I, I know when something is meaningful or not, or, or within reasonable accuracy. When I have trouble understanding something, it's usually because it's a meaningful thing. And so I guess I've put the cart before the horse in some sense in that in the past, I've struggled to understand something and upon understanding it found it meaningful. And now in the present, when I struggle to understand something, I assume it's meaningfulness before I understand it, and then upon understanding it, discover that I was right. This happens mostly when I'm reading poetry, because poetry speaks ambiguously, and it happens when people speak ambiguously. So I guess it doesn't happen with poetry, it happens with ambiguity.
Guys, it's really late. Well, not really, but I'm tired. I've had a long day. I've been in a lot of places. So I'm just going to say I don't know, and hopefully I've left you with something to think about. Okay? Okay.